Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today we have a couple teams for you. One for the Faction Assault and one for the World Event that's been tweaked from yesterday, so it's different. So if you want a different team, check out yesterday. I did a couple different uh, teams for the World Event. Just It was the very first day, just my first thoughts type thing. But um, yeah. Hey, everybody, I need you to pray for somebody, though. We're on 33 now. 33, pretty close. And I know somebody that will do 40, right? Probably, hopefully. So we might as well be on 34. Six more to go. That's it for a six-hour live stream. I'll do a poll as soon as we get to 35 on what game you want to play for six hours. Um, Bud Pomeroy. Thank you so much, Bud Pomeroy. Uh, for becoming a sinner. Everybody, please pray for Bud Pomeroy. He became a sinner and is now one with the choir. Uh, hit that blue join button or the link in the description. Or try a different device if you can't find it. Uh, or ask me in the comments. Um, yeah, hit that. Became a member, a sinner, one of them with the choir. Thank you, Bud. Really, really appreciate it, Bud Pomeroy. Shout out to you. All right, so yeah, let's get into this first team here. We got Triple Finesse, Nimbus Bow with Storm Collar, Double Yellow, I think Purple minus a color you don't use. Uh, I think it's the, it might be the Madness Banner. I always forget to look at the banner. Um, I know what it is, though. You know, it's a Double Yellow, either Purple or Green, and then you minus a color that you're not using. And then you're using Storm Collar fully traded, so you can have that Yellow Storm at the start of every turn. And uh, then your finesse works off that storm, works off each other, works off your extra turns from your Nimbus bow. And you can go almost all the way with this. Like, I got Fell Roost on, uh, like, level 2490 right now. And I used uh, Triple Finesse Nimbus bow most of the way. I think at the very, very end there, I switched out of it into, like, a High King Iron Gut. But it will work up into the 400s for you well. And then you might start having a little bit of trouble, 450, 460, 470. And you can still do it, you just got to be careful. You got to use your Nimbus bow quite a few times to get your stats up so you don't die. If you lose a finesse, you're pretty much screwed. You got to keep all three of them or else you're screwed type stuff. But yeah, you could still do it. If you don't have High King Iron Gut, I wouldn't uh, deter you from trying. Um, but uh, yeah, especially with potions. I was trying to do it without potions, by the way. And I did, but I had to do it with High King Iron Gut. So if you're doing it without potions and you're over level 500, 400, uh, I'd use High King Iron Gut. But if you're if you got potions and everything, finesse should be fine, because I got all the way to like 420, 430, something like that before I even started having trouble. And this goes super fast in the very beginning. You're just gonna have to cast finesse twice. One finesse gets up the next finesse, and uh, that's it. Boom, boom, you win. <clears throat> but yeah, then we have, after this, we're going to have the um, world event, which I need to remember to put the name of it in the title. I don't even remember, what's the name of it? Let's find it real quick uh, before we get get to it. Mm, what's it called? What's it called? Oh no. Uh, Pumping Iron? I think that's the name of the week. Pumping Iron. Something the Stone or something. But yeah, anyway, with the faction event, um, just by the first potion, if... If you want to do, if you want to spend the least and get the most out of it, buy just the first potion. That will allow you to get all the way to the final reward, get your chaos orb and everything. If you're trying to go to level 500 and do pure faction, then uh, you're gonna have to buy way more potions. You're gonna have to buy every potion and then rebuy that last potion quite a few times. I think it's five, six, seven times, something like that. Then your pure faction team would be. Uh, I used Nocturnia, Nocturnia. I think Fell Dragon Egg Nocturnia as my team, but uh, I've heard of people using uh, Quadruple Nocturnias as well, because it's got a summon on it. If you start with four Nocturnias at the beginning, you're not going to end up with the same team at the end, but you'll still make it to the end type stuff. I found that having the egg, uh, guaranteed egg in the middle of the team kind of worked better for me, but it's whatever. I did Nocturnia, Nocturnia, the egg, Nocturnia, so whatever you want to do. Here is the world event tweaked from yesterday, not using the same team, but kind of. Um, we're using Rune Priest as our class. War and Peace, which is in the Soul Forge right now, so you can go get it right now. It hits all enemies. Something I mentioned yesterday, but didn't put into action. Um, Apothecary, which everybody should have. This team, which what's good about it is either you should have it 
everything on it, or you can go get it right now. Uh, Apothecary you should have. It's easy to get. It's low rarity. It's a good early game troop. Converter. Converts to brown. Worn Peace is in the Soul Forge right now. Plus, you probably already have it anyway. Um, Kobold Magi there in the third slot. You can go down in the Underworld and get it. It's not even the Legendary. It's super easy to get with Chaos uh, Shards. And then King High Forge is probably the hardest thing to get on this team. He's a Legendary, but he's in this uh, Event Key Drop Table. And I don't, you know, it shouldn't be too bad to get him. And he's one that most people probably have laying around. He's not like a super hard to get. I don't know. You know, legendaries are legendaries. They're the same. They're hard, as hard to get as uh, the other one, but uh, I don't know. I never had trouble getting him. So, he starts all dwarves with 50% mana. That's one thing I did forget to say yesterday. So then if you make your hero uh, rune priest, then you get to start 50% mana. Which, you know, is always a thing like, whatever, you know? But since he does also does damage, like, you might as well use him type stuff. But if you find another class that starts with 50% mana off its talents, like, what's the point, really? Except for that, King High, High Forge is starting Apothecary with half her mana as well. And you could put another Dwarf in this team if you'd like. And uh, have everybody start with half their mana. But, um, I want the Kobold Magi just because my thought was, what if War and Peace doesn't one-shot, which it didn't right, it's not going to all the time, like right there, it did not. I'm hoping to have something else to clean up every troop, not just like one or two, just in case. And Kobold Magi uh, can get an extra turn, can gain magic. Uh, it does a little bit of mana generation. You could pick a certain uh, column and hopefully maybe get up Apothecary, like with some blue, uh, might destroy some blue or explode some blue or whatever. <clears throat> but yeah, that's mostly the team. Um, cast Warren, you get Warren Peace up pretty quick. Uh, because you're starting it with half mana, and then you cast it, and your Apothecary gets up pretty quick. You cast it, that gets up your War and Peace again, you cast it again. You got your Kobold and Magi in there, using yellow and red, which it's using yellow. So it's covering more colors, too. That's how I was trying to, you know, do my teams. But we got green, brown, blue, yellow, red. We got every color but one. So I like that. That's like my perfect team when I have every color but one. And the banner I'm using is the double green, double red banner. I like to use that whenever I can. We got two troops using green, two troop, troops using uh, red. So I went ahead and did the double green, double red uh, banner. Labyrinth banner. But yeah, that's what I would go with. Some sort of war and peace, uh, rune priest, um, high king, high forge combo, apothecary. That third slot, you could probably do whatever. But I kind of like the kobold magi to uh, clean up, maybe get an extra turn. So yeah. Like, share, subscribe, consider joining, it helps a lot. Tell your guild about the channel, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.